Hey, what's happening? Good one, Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to provide you guys a quick little product review on this guy right here. This is known as TPCast, which is basically a wireless adapter for the HTC Vive. They do have one available for the Oculus Rift as well. And no, there is no options for PlayStation VR, just so you guys are aware. And basically what it does is that pretty much it gets rid of the cable that's normally attached to your headset to your computer. And it's this cable right here. Again, it's a super long and heavy cable, depending on if you got the default one or if you upgraded to the much lighter one. And basically this cable oftentimes, especially for my situations where I'm playing a first person shooter and I'm constantly moving, twisting and turning, this cable constantly gets tangled around my legs. It's super annoying. I have tried other solutions where I have the cable going along my ceiling with, uh, again, a little bit of tools like that. And unfortunately, that situation wasn't working for me either to the point where the cable started to wrap around my neck, which is a situation that I do not want to go out on. Um, but anyways, in the box, you actually get quite a bit of items. Now, when you first set this up, it may seem complicated, but once you get set up the first time, it's actually very easy to use right off the bat. So of course, first off, you are getting a modem in it. And yes, you do need to use this because there's three key features to this. That's very important. One of them is the modem itself. You also have this adapter right here, which is another key piece. And basically this you could have anywhere that you want as long as it's within range. So you could kind of have it off to the corner off on a basically tripod, you can mount it into the wall or you could have it hanging on your ceiling, whatever works best for your situation. Because when you first set this up, it's basically a little bit of a try on error, which I'll go over how mine was when that first time using it. And of course you also have this sensor right here, which is a, again, the third key piece here. Uh, basically this will connect on top of the headset, whether you're using the deluxe audio strap or even the basic strap too. And of course you got cables running into here and you have another set of cables that will basically go into the battery pack. Speaking of the battery pack itself, you do get this large battery off the bat. There is a bit of heftiness to them, but they do give you some items to kind of counterweight that. And basically this battery here, I just want to go ahead and state that this actually gave me seven and a half hours of game time on a full charge before I had to recharge it. Because again, one of the things that I want to test out first thing is how much can, how much game time can I get out of it on a single full charge? Again, seven and a half hours was very, very good. So really happy about that. You also have this piece here, which is for the battery pack. Basically you take this, plug it in like so. And of course the cables that are left over from your headset on the back will connect into here. And then this will basically attach to your waist. And how does it attach to your waist? Well, you also get a belt, which is included, which is this item here, just a simple little clip on belt. You need nothing fancy. And of course a pouch to put that battery pack in simple as that. So that way it's not hanging out. It's not like, again, pulling on you. It's just going to simply attach to your waist and a snug fit. And again, it works out great and it's never in the way. Now, again, what's really nice about the whole VR uh, wireless situation too, is that unlike the normal situation with a three in one cable, let's say you just wanted to go and I don't know, get something out of the kitchen really quick. You're going to have to remove the headset and do what it is that you need to do. But right here, if I want to grab something out of the kitchen, I'll just simply walk out of the room and go to the kitchen, even what the headset still wants. So again, no situations with that. And again, that's just kind of one of the little fun things here. So let's go ahead and kind of start with the overall setup process. Like how was the initial setup and first time testing this out? Well, there was a bit of positives and negatives. I felt like there were some details in the instruction booklet that kind of left some important things out. Like, you know, when I was hooking everything up, it got to the point where I was trying to connect everything to the PC and you know, I was having some signal errors and whatnot. And then it got to the point where it started asking me for features such as, if I could find it really quick, it was asking me for like a Wi-Fi password for the modem. I was like all confused because I had no idea where that was. You know, I checked it on the bottom, but that wasn't the case. Apparently the uh, Wi-Fi password for the modem is actually on the back of this piece, which I'm not gonna show you because this is my particular one here. Um, but again, everything as far as the modem's Wi-Fi password is directly right here. The other thing that you need to pretty much keep aware is make sure that you plug in everything to the correct spot, which again, everything is labeled. Uh, you're gonna see some labels here like 2B, 1C, and then 1A on this. And of course, there's gonna be some labels onto the sensor itself. 
and of course you got to make sure that you have this face in the right way so again it's a little bit of a trial and error but once you get everything situated you are basically good to go that does have a software that it has you use when you are setting up the wireless option because basically it kind of connects making sure that it's connected to the modem make sure it's registering the sensor correctly making sure it's registering the other sensor and of course the battery pack and whatnot and of course also your cameras as well because you are still going to need your vibe cameras connected as well and basically when that's all said and done you can go ahead and start up whatever program that you want to use now again when you first time set it up you may run into some minor situations especially when it comes to this particular piece right here these two items are important because again these have to register with each other and of course register with the modem itself basically the modem it's pretty simple you set that up and you set it away from your computer do keep in mind that the internet cable supplied with it is actually very small so i recommend you get a little bit much of a lengthier cable just so you can kind of get that done out of the way and then again first time i had this set up i was actually got to the point where i was having some minor connection issues where i was playing a game basically a little simplistic game to kind of get started during testing which of course involves archery and i kind of kept losing signal here and there so i did another situation where instead of this being connected far away from the modem at an angle i went ahead and attached it to my ceiling directly above my head and of course to the point where it's closer to the modem and that was much better now again, do keep in mind that this isn't quite perfect. I mean, every once in a while, I'll get a little bit of disconnect issues where again, I'll be holding my controller and the next thing you know, the controller kind of glitches weirdly in the game. Again, I don't get that in a wired situation, but in a wireless situation, I was getting those glitches here and there. So again, it's not a perfect solution, but for the most part, it does actually work out quite well. I never got to the point where there was any issues that caused me to get sick and whatnot. Uh, but like I said, setup process is very simple and just a little bit of a trial and error, and then you are good to start. Now, one thing I will state though, is that if you do have everything set up and you're unable to connect to the internet, one of the steps that you should definitely do, which worked for me, was to basically disconnect the power cable from the modem wait about 10 seconds, plug it back in, and then my whole issue with unable to connect online was totally fixed. And of course, if you do connect it, do keep in mind that this is basically going from here to your computer. And if you want to use a wired connection with this, then you're gonna plug in that cable to the blue slot, which again, wasn't very clear in the instruction booklet. But again, overall, what exactly do I think? Overall, I mean, the device itself is actually very good and having a wireless option to the point where I didn't have to worry about this cable anymore was definitely cool. Now, one of the things I definitely wanna see when it comes to wireless VR is where can we go with this in the future? Like I know the HTC Vive is actually gonna be coming out with updated cameras where of course they could pick up a much more wide area of space. So I kind of imagine, you know, how would it be if you had multiple cameras in like a warehouse? What could you possibly do, especially for wireless? I mean, that would be pretty crazy. But like I said, overall, this is actually a pretty neat product. The software in general does have a little bit of minor flaws. The headset itself is actually very good in terms of the wireless signal. And the price point, again, is questionable. So whether or not you wanna fork over $300 on top of the $400 VR headset, if you don't already have it, my bad. The headset's actually $600 if you're getting the HTC Vive, that is. Um, but again, overall, this is something I could easily recommend, but it may not be for everyone, especially at the price point. And um, like I said, that's pretty much all I have to say. If I were to give this a score out of five stars, I would easily give this a four out of five. Until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.